Hello and welcome everyone. So, OWASP top 10, today's topic is top 10 web application security risk. So, who is the OWASP foundation? So, OS, OWASP foundation is Open Web Application Security Project, which is a non-profit organization that works to improve the security of software. Through community-led open source software projects, hundreds of local chapters worldwide, tens of thousands of members and leading educational and training conferences, the OWASP Foundation is the source for developers and technologists to secure the web. So what is the top 10 security risk for this year? First is injection attack. Second is broken authentication. Third is sensitive data exposure and then external XML external entities, broken access control, security misconfiguration, and the seventh is cross-site scripting. The eighth is insecure deserialization. The ninth being using components with known vulnerabilities. And the last being insufficient logging and monitoring. So for injection, this is, we are commonly aware of SQL injection attacks. So injection flaws such as SQL, NoSQL, OS and LDAP injection occur when untrusted data is sent over an interpreter as part of a com command or query. The attacker's hostile data can trick the interpreter into executing unintended commands or accessing data without proper authorization. Broken authorization in which the application functions related to authentication and session management are often implemented incorrectly, allowing attackers to compromise passwords, keys, or session tokens or to exploit other implementations, flaws to assume other users' identities temporarily or permanently. Okay. And in the sensitive data exposure, many web applications and APIs do not properly protect sensitive data, such as financial, healthcare, and attackers may steal or modify such weakly protected data to conduct, conduct credit card fraud, identity theft, and other crimes. So sensitive data may be compromised without extra protection such as encryption at rest or in transit and requires special precaution when exchanged with the browser. And many older or poorly configured XML processes evaluate external entity references within XML documents. External entities can be used to disclose internal files using the file URI handler, internal file shares, internal port scanning, remote code execution, and denial of service attacks. And what is broken access control? The restrictions on what authenticated users are allowed to do are often not properly enforced. Attackers can exploit these flaws to access unauthorized functionality and data such as access other users' accounts, use sensitive files, modify other users' data, change access rights, etc. And what is security misconfiguration? Now, security misconfiguration is the most commonly seen issue. This is commonly a result of insecure default configurations, incomplete or ad hoc configurations, open cloud storage, misconfigured HTTP headers, and verbose error messages containing sensitive information. Not only must all operating system frameworks, libraries, and applications be securely configured, but they must be patched in a timely fashion. And what is the commonly known cross-site scripting or XSS? XSS flaws occur when an application includes trusted data in a web app page without proper validation or escaping, or updates an existing web page with user-supplied data using a browser API that can create HTML or JavaScript. XSS allows attackers to execute scripts in the victim's browser, which can hijack user sessions, deface websites, or redirect the user to malicious sites. And insecure deserialization can also cause to remote code execution. Even if deserialization flaws do not result in remote code execution, they can be used to perform attacks including replay attacks, injection attacks, and privileged escalation attacks. Now, using components with known vulnerabilities, components such as libraries, frameworks, and other software modules run the same privileges as the application. If a vulnerable component is exploited, such an attack can facilitate serious data loss or server takeover. 
Applications and APIs using components with own vulnerabilities may undermine application defenses and enable various attacks and impacts. And what is insufficient logging and monitoring? Insufficient logging and monitoring coupled with missing or ineffective integration with incident report response allows attackers to further attack systems, maintain persistent pivot to more systems, and tamper, extract, or destroy data. So that's about all in a nutshell from the OASP.organization website. So next time we'll be taking the injection attack. Thank you.